Alright, be with me, Joe. Alright, let's do this. We need to do some stretches or anything. Are you ready? I think I need everything. I need to do all the stretches and stuff. Alright, alright. <laughs> alright. Okay. Alright, everybody. We got a train coming on by. Shout out trains and small town. Hey, look, you're gonna watch the train come by. Oh, that's cool, actually. Texas one of my favorite states but if you're driving in rural Texas you're gonna see a lot of this and a lot of this and probably some cows and a lot of that along the way but if you're lucky you're gonna find a Bucky's they kind of run anyway guys East Texas kind of the middle of nowhere I'm okay with it ranches open fields and hard workers. Thank you to our farmers. Hey everyone, Joy Ants here. Today we are in Jacksonville, Texas. Yes, Jacksonville, Texas outside. JW's Barbecue. So here they have this giant feast barbecue platter challenge. It has a whole bunch of turkey, brisket, ribs. Uh, I'll give you the exact details. I know there's sausage, uh, one hour time limit. $165 meal, but free if you can complete it. Apparently it's about 10 pounds of food, including a couple sides. Um, but yeah, let me get the exact details, but set it in, have fun, let's go eat. All right, everybody, so here we are with the feast, which I gotta say, this is seriously a Texas sized feast. And this is so big, I actually got Jonathan, or JW, the owner here, to kind of walk mm -hmm. me through a little bit what we have. Um, so let's just say we had a very interesting conversation before this. He was saying, absolutely, there is no way one man can eat this thing. This feeds like what? How many people? Oh gosh, easy five to six people. What? Gee, that it, easy. That's, you said there's like ten pounds of meat. Sure. So if there's yeah. like ten pounds of food, do people here in Jacksonville eat like two pounds of food each? Absolutely. Damn man, they, I tell you that is a Texas size appetite. I'm impressed. Uh, anyway, so what we have for the feast? We have some of your lovely brisket. Right. Uh, so what? What is it? Just. Texas style true Texas true? style brisket, salt and black pepper, that's all you need. Heavy smoke? I have heavy smoke. Heck yeah, and you smoke with pecan? Pecan and hickory, finish it off with a little beef tallow at the end. Oof, love it guys, that is a secret right there. We have some of your lovely looking pulled pork and right. very Texas style, not sauce, that's my preference guys. I feel you should not need to sauce a meat necessarily. That's I think right. it should always be optional. With your lovely looking turkey, was that rosemary on it? It's yes, uh, salt, black pepper again, yeah. and some rosemary. Hey, I love it, like I said, Animal's my favorite food, everybody. Shout out JoeLeaks.com. Grab yourself some merch. But Texas style barbecue is my favorite cooking method. Um, beef rib. Yes, beef rib. That's a locally raised beef rib. Here, short rib. Short rib. Beef short rib. That's right. Guys, if you do not know, beef ribs are the best thing ever. It's like beef butter when it's done right. I can see so much lovely crust. Oh, I just got to show you. Look at this. Look at this crust on this beef rib. Just look at that, guys. That looks perfect. All that smoke hit it, the salt, the pepper. Oh, it is. Ah, woo! All right, hold up. I haven't even tasted it yet, and I'm already about mm -hmm. to die. My senses mm -hmm. were stimulated. One huge, giant rack of ribs, pork ribs. Another huge, giant rack of pork ribs. What's the difference here? Yeah, so these are both uh, spare ribs, St. Louis yeah. style. Salt, black pepper, and garlic. Okay. This is an apple pie sweet rib with our house made sauce on it. Apple pie? That's right, apple pie. Damn. All right, well, hey, sweet. We'll try it. It sounds good. Oh, I smell apples. I smell apple pie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, guys, I've never had a sweet dessert style of rib, so we'll try that. Collard greens, coleslaw. Did you say you put brisket in that? That's right. 
That's, that's, that's pretty different. Our motto is you can never have too much brisket. Hey, I, and I agree, guys. Cows are my favorite animals. They are so tasty. Now, sausages. We got yes. three kinds. Three kinds of house-made sausage. Okay. Regular house beef. Okay. Um, jalapeno cheddar. Yeah. Again, my red beef. And now our, our latest sausage is smoked brisket boudin. Boudin. Louisiana style. Louisiana style. Guys, so it's like boudin's like a rice sausage, normally a whack of pork, but I imagine it's beef as well? All beef with a pork casing. That's Are it. all the sausage beef? All beef. To Hot pork. damn. Yeah. Guys, that is Texas through and through. It's like brisket, ribs, sausage, heavy beef. Texas does have the best beef. Mm -hmm. so. All right, guys. Well, uh, that being said, see if we can complete this. And uh, thanks, for friend. Thanks Absolutely. for walking me through it. Let's see if we can... Uh, my hand's a little foodie. Yeah. So uh, let's get started here, guys. Just momentarily. I'm definitely ready. I got them to cut the ribs for me. I didn't have them cut prior. So they cut all the beef ribs, cut the pork ribs for me. Looks delicious, guys. Um, for the, I did have to pick two sides, and I went with coleslaw and collard greens. I guess we already introduced it, but yes, with the sides, this is 10 pounds. So, whew, well, listen, I have the, uh, these Joel shirts are now officially on the store, but this is, this is a lot. He said, you're gonna get the meat sweat. So I said, all right, well, let me put a tank top on. So I got me and my, also, hanger issues, tank top on. You can also grab yourselves one of those. And he legitimately said, when anybody orders this platter, they give them a rag because the meat sweats are guaranteed. And that's when a party or a table orders this. And you need a day's notice. Right. You need a day's notice if you want one of these, everybody. So, woo, how about I uh, throw these on, gloves on. Thanks for what came out, by the way, guys. Really appreciate you all. <laughs> Everybody was like, everybody's being very quiet, we'll put it that way. Also, there are signature sauces, a sweet, spicy, both made in house, and uh, some pickles, onions, and jalapenos for a palate cleanser. I right, see so we can start it. What do you say, like five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Oh, hold on, guys. I gotta start with the with the example for the kids. Let me, I'll try some of this coleslaw, some of these green beans. So we do have some kids around here, like that guy right there. How old are you, my friend? Oh, eat your veggies. Wow, all right, nice and sweet. Mmm, mmm. Creamy, mmm. Oh man, do you make that? Yes. That is one of the best coleslaw dressings I've had in a very long time. Mmm. Sweet and fresh, all right. Now we set an example for the kids. We'll try some of this lovely looking turkey. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. A little bit of rosemary. Large grain salt and pepper. Mmm. Very flavorful. Mmm. Tastes great so much so I'm gonna do some straight water. I don't even want the little bit of lime to impede this lovely flavor. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to a challenge you're not going to want to miss. Seriously, one of the biggest challenges I've done in a very long time and undoubtedly one, let's just say, with some unexpected happenings that it's just words can't describe. It may be the only barbecue restaurant here, but it's definitely a fantastic. Mm. So it's undoubtedly the best in Jacksonville. <laughs> mm. But when I asked the owner what his favorite toy and he said the turkey was one of them, you know, it's a good sign. So here we are with the Feast Challenge, the biggest platter in East Texas. I love barbecue, I love me barbecue platters, and I love barbecue challenges, but I didn't know East Texas packed such a punch, both with the unique hospitalities, the unique flavors, the unique offerings. And I mean, this place had apple pie ribs and freaking beef ribs. Like, how can you go wrong? That rosemary. Mm. And that huge grain pepper. Just look at that. So Jacksonville, Texas, much smaller than the city of Jacksonville, Florida, only has one barbecue restaurant being JW's here because these guys literally put everybody else out of business. That is the quality, that is the popularity, that is how good their food is here. I'm gonna try maybe in the um, spicy sauce. Mm. Oh, mm, mm, mm. 
All right. That is fantastic. Try the sweet. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Both of those. There is such a lovely, just true Texas red kind of barbecue flavor on that. If you know what I'm talking about, mm. man, that's good. And Jacksonville, I guess, is the tomato capital of the world. And there is definitely tomato in this as well. So whether it's the signature tomatoes or what, great sauce. They have very short hours, only open the daytimes because they constantly sell out. So, you know, you need notice again if you want a significant platter of such like this for a party or something. About four minutes in. I'm gonna try these collard greens real quick. Get a bite of them. Oh yeah, okay. Much bitterness to that green. Might want to save that bitterness to them. Let's change up. Very nice. I know I have so many options though. Brisket, multiple ribs, pulled pork. Eh, let's try some of these ribs. I'll start with the more traditional, the salt, pepper, garlic. Mm. Oh, mmm. Mm. Did you cook this open? Oh, guys. You can tell they cook it open. Because of this lovely, like, formation of that. Mm. Salt and pepper. But the rules of the challenge, we did have the one hour to complete this massive platter of food, um, $165 meal on the line, and the prizes were the free meal and a sweet t-shirt. Um, I guess we already had got the kind of sweat rag, JW's beef sweat rag, um, which they gave us for, you know, basically ordering such a big platter saying we would need it. So I thought that was pretty funny, but I guess that was kind of given to us win or lose. Um, so coming into all these foods here, I mean, man, I described the textures I described the taste so I'm not gonna get into the, that much but let's just say you need to see what happens when we hit that beef like literally so crazy and the texture beautiful bite not overcooked what else I really appreciate about JW's here is they really did a true Texas style barbecue, like salt, pepper, heavy smoke. I find a lot of restaurants now, even if they advertise Texas barbecue, are getting away from it a little bit. I'm trying that sauce. Well, then that original one. Mmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. Let's go, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Got it. Delicious. Being that they're like, oh yeah, we're Texas style barbecue, but then they put on like a thousand different spices or they're using like some kind of weird rubs or now they're like saucing their items. And honestly, I'm really not a big fan of that. I think good barbecue, it doesn't need sauce. It just needs this, salt, pepper, and heavy smoke. And that's what Texas, like that's what it's known for. And that's what makes it stand out so much. And that is why, in my opinion, if you go to Texas, the standard of barbecue is so much higher compared to pretty much the rest of the world. Because they're like generally not hiding it behind sauces, behind layers and layers of different seasonings. It is really just basically the meat. Like it all comes down to the meat because salt and pepper is not a heavy accent. The salt just amplifies the flavors it kind of excites your mouth and the pepper just adds a little bit of you know a little mild bite so when it comes to real texas style barbecue the true quality of the meat shines through and that's why i think even what some would call bad or mediocre barbecue in texas is probably excellent or very good in another state another country especially when you leave north america i'm yet to actually find really good true let's say american style smoked barbecue outside of canada and the u.s 
And even in Canada, it's very hard to come by, borderline impossible, um, but there are a few hidden gems. And then, of course, across America, there definitely are a handful of very good barbecue restaurants, but I am a bit biased towards the Texas style. It is my preferred method, and I also love the sauces here. Um, I love like a true Texas red, lots of vinegar in it, a little bit of sweetness, a bit of pepper, but it's not like a Kansas City super sticky sweet um, or anything like that. Oh yeah. All right, baby, about eight, eight and maybe 8.15 in. Just the flavors in this. Mm. Yeah. You can tell they cook it open. Oh there, I can just pull this right out the bone like a lollipop. Pig's lollipop. My style of lollipop. So now personally, my favorite barbecue items generally are the beef, and I knew that. And I knew that if I was going to get into them like right from the start, I just wouldn't be able to get past it. it, it every, all the, like, the flavors of these meats were so good, and I'm not going to lie, like my expressions are genuine, people. When one of these meats or something hits my palate and I go, ooh wee, or something along those lines, that is a genuine expression. I can't control it. Let me try beef rib. Guys, look at this end piece. Ooh, looks like money. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but see what it's all about. Oh, um, um, oh, mm, oh, mm. holy fat. Mm. Oh, that is so rich and savory. Oh man, I'm gonna have to come back to that. I think I might die. Oh my god, this, this. I might die if I eat this now. Whew. Oh, that's really a little bit. Mm. Oh. oh, the fat and the crust on that. And like, it just makes me squirm. My body, my brain just doesn't know how to react when you get just this mouthful of flavor, this literal mouthful of fat. Like, I've eaten deep fried butter and this was crazier. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. Yep. I just like beef butter. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna come back to that. I'm never gonna live if I eat those now. Whew. Need some onions after that one. And if you're curious why we have some pickles, onions, and jalapenos on the side, they really are for palate cleansers. These are very rich, heavy foods, and all those bitter items are a great way to cleanse a palate. Maybe we'll try to pull pork out. No. Nope. Nothing wrong with that. But at that, I believe that's the majority of the information. I definitely could go on, but there's lots of natural commentary in here. So as we continue to dive into this Texas feast, let's see if we can get to taste that lovely looking brisket. Let's see if we can get to taste those apple pie ribs. Seriously, that just sounds crazy and bizarre. Like, let me know in a comment down below if you've ever had an apple pie rib. Like, it sounds like dessert. Um, absolutely insane. But at that, let's tune on in, see if we can complete this challenge. And at that, let's go. Pork a little bit of that sauce in there. Mm. You need more sauce? No, I'm good for now. All right. Thank you. You need more sauce? Then? Yeah. I will. Right. Nice sweetness on richness. Mm. Very nice. Woo! All right, well. We are heading into barbecue and chill, guys. Oh, there's no shortage of food. I go 12 and a half minutes in. Holy crap. Man, these things are heavy. I see why this feeds how many people. This would be more than six people, man. Or like I said, either that or everybody in Jacksonville has the biggest appetite ever. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Crazy. Biggest appetite for today, definitely. Hey, best barbecue in town. I know this, like as soon as I get in this beef, I'm literally just gonna die. Oh. Yep. Oh my gosh. Mm. Perfectly rendered that fat. 
Mmm. That's fresh in there. Mm. Oh man, look at this nice piece of moist brisket, guys. That is just like fall apart. Mmm. Woo! Holy crap. Oh. Mm. Whoa. Yep. That serves the bell. Woo! Whew. Yeah, let's I'm gonna whew. You can do it. You well, can let's, do it. You let's this. probably gonna do that now. I don't think I'm gonna yeah. wow. Oh wow. Good. Oh man. I was gonna say I'm gonna shut up and eat, but Apple pie rib. It actually tastes like dessert. Mm. Man, I'm gonna have to finish with these. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay, everybody. Game changer. Mm. Mm. Crispy, caramelized. A little bit of cinnamon sweetness. I feel like it's the holidays. <laughs> I'm so good with that. Mm. Okay. Wow. I'm eating apple pie. <laughs> On a pig. I'm okay with it. I didn't know pigs could taste like pie. <laughs> but I'm okay. Whew, about six and a half minutes in. No shortage at all. I'm gonna finish up these collard greens. Need something a little, a little lighter maybe. A little bit in my life right now. I'm trying to get rid of some of the sausage because, like I said, if I go to this beef, I'm gonna die. It's that good. If this is like dessert, better save it. Mm. Ooh. Beef. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Oops. <coughs> Ooh. Comments to the chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Very good. This is a traditional sausage. It's just like beef, salt, pepper. Mm. I like it. Jalapeno cheddar sausage. Very juicy. My favorite. Do you like spicy? I do. Mmm. So the flavor I get in that, besides the cheese, is a very legit jalapeno. Then we got the beef boudin. Mmm. Oh. Woo. Good flavor. Really soft. Get some really good um, kind of Louisiana vibes, but we still got a great smoke on it. Blue is basically rice and beef, or meat, like the beef in this case. It's very rich, not fat free. I might as well finish off the dessert. Oh. Oh, but kids, eat dessert last. Woo! Unless it's this. Maybe your parents will let you have this first. <laughs> Hot damn. Apple pie. You should, like, enter, like, some kind of a contest with these ribs. They're so innovative. Mm. 
Honestly, must try. I've never had a pig me by dessert before. Totally okay with that. Whew. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Maybe about 22 and a half minutes in, guys. Call a jumpers. Says the person is not eating 10 pounds of barbecue. Whew. One thing's for sure. We got a pile of brisket here. Look at all this. These are thick, thick, thick slabs. That is just but ugh. And these beef ribs, oh my gosh, look at the freaking size on that. That is a holy jump. It's well. There's only one way to do it, and that's to do it. So let's dive on head first. We're gonna need some, uh, excuse me, comments to the chef, uh, the pit master, the animals, the onions, the tomatoes, which were somewhere in here. Oh, guys. All right, let's do this. All right, let's try this. This is a uh, lean, I guess, but nice fat cap on it. Mmm. Woo! Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. I am awake. Whoa, that happened. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yep. That will wake you up in the morning. Oh my gosh. Woo. Ignite your senses. Whoa, man. <laughs> I don't know about red will give you wings, but that brisket will give you wings. That's for sure. Whoa. Okay. Well, 25 in. Fatty, fatty beef ribs. Fatty brisket. Got a little bit of the large grain salt. I'm gonna add right here. Cause I'm gonna take this. I'm going to heaven, guys. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> mm. That fat is very, very well rendered. Mm. Nice smoke on it. Woo! Just the juiciness of that, the softness of that brisket. Oh my gosh! Amazing. Not calorie free. I'll tell you that much. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Woo! Hot damn! That's why you only need a bite of that though. Woo! And everyone, if you made it this far in the video, first off, thank you so much for watching. Let's play one of our jokes on the skippers. I want you to comment down below. It's great to meet your girlfriend, Joel. I hope to see her more in future videos. Holy jumpets, guys. There is a huge fat cap on this piece right here. Oh, my arteries, I'm sorry, guys, but my taste buds, you're welcome. Holy brisket. Holy brisket. Oh, I'm trying to remember to breathe. Whew. Hot damn, this stuff's good. All right. Beef ribs and chill, guys. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh. Woo! That fat, though. Oh, wow. Mm. In charge. Woo! Oh man! 
That is pure fat. Holy crap. Oh man. They are. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh. That's a heart attack in the best way possible. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Delicious, but. Mm. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, folks. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh. You need like a physical exam with a cardiologist before you eat some of these beef steaks. <laughs> this is the best flavor ever, man. Oh. Mm. Crazy. Crazy. Mmm. Just an explosion of flavor and fat. Woo! As I rip it off, it's just dripping and pooling fat. Oh, don't get me wrong, it tastes amazing. But I'm scared for my health. It's alright, that's why I have a disclaimer don't do what I do, but definitely come on by JW's. Holy crap, just don't eat a whole rack of these. Try a bite. Share with your family, guys. Oh, I have fat dripping down my face. <laughs> oh. I don't know, there's really one bite. This is kind of like a massive piece, but I can make it a Joel bite. Oh my gosh, just one more time. Look at this, look at that. Lovely, succulent, juicy fat. Hey, well, while I'm at it, might as well just go full blown, so. Wow. <laughs> I did not know my mouth could feel like that. Oh my gosh. My heart stopped. <laughs> That was the biggest mouthful of fat I have ever had in my life. That was pure beef butter. Holy crap. Oh my lord. Anyway, I think we're done there. About 32 minutes. Maybe right on the dot. Holy jumpets, man. Oh my god, that last bite. I don't even know what to think. I'm kind of a loss for words. Wow. Holy beef ribs. Wow, guys. Seriously, cook perfectly. Beef butter. Uh, comments to the chef. Uh, comments to the chef. Oh. Let me try to revive myself here or something. Like. Mm. I'm not even gonna respond to that right now. <laughs> people, people are just too generous in Texas, I'll put it that way. <laughs> Texas hospitality. Here's 10 pounds of the craziest, most fatty, calorie-free barbecue you ever had in your life. <laughs> you want some brisket cheesecake? <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm a I'm gonna, uh, yeah, guys, my, I'm not working right now. This, <laughs> this is intense. Woo! But, uh, so I'll just be like, kindly, hold that thought. <laughs> well, I try to re collect myself, guys, but I'm just gonna start by saying, holy cow, no pun intended. Right. Guys, <laughs> JW, guys, wow, damn, this was amazing barbecue. I gotta say, there were some things that really stood out really 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 stood out and not just like the beef rib because it literally was the craziest fattiest bite of beef butter i've ever had in my life oh i feel my arteries crying <laughs> but the apple pie ribs man 
it, it is so innovative. Like I said, I've never had something like that before. That was the coolest thing. Like I said, literally, my, I had a pig as my dessert. I was looking at, um, I was, I was, I was, I was looking at this container. I was like, this is the coleslaw dressing. For a second, I was looking down there. I was like, is that the fat congealing from those collard greens? <laughs> My body is just like so like hypersensitive right now. It's like, oh my god, Joel. You just ate a fat-free meal. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's right, body. <laughs> Alright, anyway guys, those ribs were amazing. Both the ribs were great, but I really, really started those apple pie ribs. Shout out the turkey. Again, the turkey was fantastic. I love me a good turkey and just that salt, pepper, the bit of smoke on it with that rosemary was just very 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 flavorful um the beef ribs were fantastic that freaking fatty brisket was too good and that coleslaw was definitely the best coleslaw i've had in a long 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 time but that guys if we do get the 165 dollar meal for free honestly that's for the amount of meat and food you get that's a really good deal barbecue is expensive and there is so much of this especially guys when it was just, it was a spread, and holy crap, that was a lot of meat, but <laughs> that your one, grab yourself a feast for a family, for an occasion, maybe Thanksgiving, I do Thanksgiving, you know why? Delicious barbecue, and apple pie for dessert, you know what I'm saying, you get, you get kind of that, 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 like that's what I, when I, that's what I felt like when I was eating, I was like, I feel like I'm on a holiday, somewhere maybe at mom or grandma's house you know what i'm saying so all right guys i got literally no other words i am at a loss um so till my arteries you know why they're still flowing guys till next time definitely recommend stopping on by if you were in jacksonville you were in tyler you're in the surrounding area even if you're just coming through east texas maybe going through from dallas to shreveport hop on down hop on down guys this was very delicious barbecue you're only open the days though is that right 11 to 3 because they sell out guys so make sure you stop on by everybody else knows where to come on by that's why they're selling out you know where to come on by as well now jacksonville's best barbecue hands down and their best kept secret so guys till next time i'm getting out of here i'm starting to live again i can breathe again Whew. those beef ribs there buddy wow that was crazy but yeah thanks everybody coming out appreciate you all guys <laughs> And of course, so next time, have a good day. That's it. There's <laughs> my baby belly. You did awesome. awesome. That's good. Here's my grab my grab my rag. Yeah. 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 Official meat uh, Official uh, meat rag. Wow. Well, yeah. thank you. I mean, it was, it was something, right? So impressive is a good word for it. Huh? Hot damn, guys, that was good, but that was a lot of food. <laughs> like I said, share that with your complete family, <laughs> an extended family, cousins and everybody, cousins and everything. <laughs> So when you're in Texas and or some of the surrounding states, a big thing, and it is in other parts of the country as well, but mostly the South, is Big Red, everybody, Big Red. So this essentially, according to them, is sweet, smooth, big flavor. Of course, this is the zero. So Big Red, if you're not familiar, again, being originating in kind of this down Texas area, um, very big in Texas, they actually have a Big Red Festival and all that stuff. Um, it's basically cream soda. So if you're familiar with cream soda, it tastes just like cream soda, but it has caffeine in it. Lots of caffeine. Um, so it's like, a, woo, that was a, quite the carbonation. So I'm gonna dump me out a glass. I have some ice here. I do love me my, uh, I got a pepper. I got my, look my pepper on deck. Got my Big Red here. Also some Top Chico. All about that life. So yeah, Big Red, everybody. Mm. Yep. It is good. It's like I said, like a cream soda. Now, 
I'd say it's like on the spectrum of cream sodas, a less creamier cream soda. I've had some cream sodas before that are really like creamy. This one's less creamy. Mm. But a nice punch and a nice spark. Almost like a maybe a little more tartness in certain cream sodas. And I want to say a little spunk. It's a spunky cream soda. Big red, Shadow Texas. <laughs> 